work-life balance is when I can accomplish my work and this, at the same time I can take care of my family in the sense that I don't neglect my family because I, I have a career. Uh, what I try to do is I try to uh, involve my family in my work in the sense that so that I don't neglect my two children especially uh, because uh, they are like um, five and eight years old. So since I'm an anthropologist, I do a lot of field work. I try to structure and put the dates for my field work when my children are on holidays. So what I do, I will bring my children to the field work and stay there for a month. At the same time, I also invite my husband so that he will know my work. So if I'm late coming back from the office, sometimes um, we do not have any conflict because he kind of understands what I'm doing. My mini office, home office. I have my table here for my work, and I put another table here for my girls, but they are not here at the moment, so I put a sewing machine because I need to do some sewing. But in general, this is their uh, playing area and also where they do their homework. So I just make it this way because they can lie down, they can lie down on the floor to do drawings and all sort of things. But if they are bored, they can just go outside to play or they have their swing on the other side. So it's all content so that I don't have to run around with them everywhere. Everybody have time for their children if you manage your time properly. But I'm quite lucky because I have uh, work that is quite flexible in the sense that in the morning I just have to clock in then it's up to me to organize my lectures, my tutorials. Uh, we, mo we moved back to, to Kuala Lumpur in 2006 uh, and William was uh, pregnant with our first uh, daughter. After I submitted my first draft of PhD thesis, yes. in August we didn't have any helper. So my father actually came for two months. After my father left, my grand auntie came for, for two months too. Only then I found somebody to help. I mean, when the kids were small, it was quite difficult to find a balance and I was traveling much more. Luckily you had a more flexible job. Well, I put all the, all the research aside. I didn't have any research until 2011. Every time we, we would have uh, the domestic helper who is uh, leaving, for example, it would be a panic because we have nobody to turn to since we are just by ourselves in KL. Every time it's a new struggle to, to consider what are the different options we have. And uh, even the few times discussion where one would have to sacrifice their job for the children. Because that's, that's a difficult thing. We try not to let go, so we have this balance between work and, and family. With, with all this experience of, uh, of being alone in, in, uh, in Kuala Lumpur with no support, um, on the professional side, since I'm, I'm managing a, a company here of 100 plus people uh, uh, doing manufacturing, um, I realized also that uh, my employees uh, were struggling and we were also struggling to recruit people. Uh, in terms of profile, we see that many people are coming from different part, different states of Malaysia to look to seek for job in Klang Valley. Uh, so they also have this, a bit like us, this situation whereby their family is not here, their family is back in the campo. So in order to make uh, my company more attractive, uh, we decided three years ago uh, to target um, specifically uh, working mothers and to tailor our human resource package in such a way that uh, those women who are struggling could, uh, could could find a job and focus on their job without having to worry about their kids. So we had uh, a few times this, uh, this situation where at the end we were questioning the fact that the two of us are working and, uh, and questioning if one of us should be sac making this sacrifice versus uh, a professional career. Uh, but my way of thinking is a, is a bit special. I, I love my wife also for what she is and for her career. So I'm always, I always pushed her to do her thing, to be independent. 
So I would not sacrifice what she has been studying for just uh, an issue, which is a um, family management issue. We, we had to sort it out in other ways. Balance, even though it seems to be there, you know, without me knowing it, but we manage somehow. Yeah. We manage and we take the decision together. I mean, when you expect both to be independent in their career, you also have to have a democratic way to, to discuss things. So, yes. uh, this is a decision we take together.